I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We just do All that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and knock me down just to kiss you. Don't let these hoes turn you to friends. Got it popping like a fish fry back with this guy. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Pricegangclothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we 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 and I seen that John John had went live, and he got like a whole setup for his podcast, for like a podcast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all but of the above. I kind of came. It's called All of the Above. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. That, 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 yeah, that's that's all that's that's, that, that's fitting. It's fitting. Yeah. Yeah. Salute to John John. Um, but I guess I came in at the the middle or the tail end because he was like, "What we doing? What we doing?" You don't like me, and it's really that serious, and you want to fight? I will give you your fade, dog. I will give you your fade, my nigga. If it's that serious. But please, please, do not say my name again. We not gonna battle. This is not for no money. I asked if we battle and at least we could get some fucking money for this fake beef that we doing. Me and Jack did. I don't know if Jack got paid, but at least he got on known. Me and Jack had a misunderstanding too. And then when I seen him, he made it clear it was battle rap. And once he said that, okay, cool. Well, we're gonna build on it and let's get a bag then. No, I'll be in LA, ready to rap. If he's out there, we could go around the corner, get whatever off his chest. And just please don't say my name again. You go your way, I go mine. I won't say your name. I don't, I'm not even saying your name now. So I'm, I, I, I wasn't trying to be all nosy. I was trying to see if I could fill in the blanks, but okay. I kind of missed it. Wait, do you know what's going on? Um, I know there's some. Friction, you know what I'm saying? Um, and to, to read, like salute to Math Hoffa, to read between the lines. Read between? <laughs> when you salute to him and everything that he's got going on, um, I'm glad to see that he's back in his bag doing what he do after that nasty situation that um, I don't even I, I don't, have it. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was ugly. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that he's doing his thing. Salute to my guy. Yeah. But uh, when I look, uh, when I see things from a holistic perspective, I see Ace Amin going into his battle with Fonz. Mm -hmm. I see him clearly rattled. I see him talking to the camera, you're a whore, you're still a whore. He's clearly talking about John. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, so he's talking about John. And John between the rounds, that, yeah. He's, yeah, he's like, you're a whore. He's, you, you know what he's talking about. Yeah. Like, come on. And then, if you seen in the chat, John John wrote, this is not the same energy that you had when I just saw you, or something like that. Yeah, you didn't have that was one of the because the comment just kept getting all the likes or yeah. whatever. It was like you, you didn't have this energy when I just saw you. Mm -hmm. So what it stems from is uh, Ace Ami had an interview. I believe it was with Hip Hop Is Real, and he said something like, you know, when you see me, just punch me or something like you gotta just you gotta swing on me like when you see me. And that's like outside. That's not like I'm all for good grudges, all for good beefs, all for good. You know, fist to cuffs as far as with battles and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not the mook and bridge, the fight on stage. Yeah. But I'm talking about. Remember when? Let's let's just go back. You know right. what I'm saying? When Arsenal and Hitman was going battle. Yeah. When they when they, when they, when they had the money all laid on the floor mm -hmm. and they was talking reckless to each other, shooting the blogs and stuff yeah. like that, and they came had a good battle and both went about their own way. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's what the, the battle rap was built on. Yeah. Those kind of beefs. Just like that type of fight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When Goods and Conceited, and he was in the grocery store looking for the deodorant. Yeah. Conceited was like, you know, when Goods had the, the, the with the Burberry shirt. Mm -hmm. the, those type of things mm -hmm. I'm all for. Yeah. But the thing is, when you have situations that could potentially lead to outside of battle rap with yeah. fights and guns and knives involved, that's extra. Yeah. But the thing is, how far is too far when it comes to respect? If somebody's talking about you saying that they're gonna do something to you when they see you, as as a man, as a man, have, mm -hmm. as a man, mm -hmm. what is too far? Cause somebody like when you invite enough people to the party, somebody gonna pull up to the party. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm saying. Like some people ain't. You keep playing. 
till you find somebody that ain't, ain't playing. playing with you. you know what I'm saying? So, so. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's different for me because it's, it's different for both of us. Cause one, we're not battling, so mm -hmm. we don't know exactly the ins and outs of, you know, of how they supposed to set up the battle. But only reference I can always give is a wrestling reference, and it's called a work or a shoot. Okay. Work or a shoot. Work means it's uh, I'm setting this up so I gotta do something to you to make you feel as though now you have to see me, mm. right? <clears throat> if it's a shoot, that means nobody knew this was happening, nobody knew this was being set up. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you know that I got a problem with you. We can either settle this the professional way mm -hmm. or the unprofessional way. Mm -hmm. You kind of can't blur those lines when it comes to battle rap because at the same time, nobody's actually fighting. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Where in wrestling or in boxing or any other sport where you actually got to throw the hands, you got to throw the hands. Thanks. But in battle rap, it's just a lyrical exhibition between two lyricists. Right. Let's not forget what this is. Right. And it's rap. We're just rapping. But let's look at the fact. Let's like, and, and I want to expound. I want you to go further with your point mm -hmm. as far as let's be let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? In order to in order to keep it a buck, you gotta be honest, right? Facts. And, I, and in Box. 2K, and in, was, and in 2K, Giannis is a monster, by yeah. the way. And I was I made a tweet the other day. I said, who is the toughest player that you played against in 2K? Mm -hmm. I think uh, who cooks you? Did anybody cook you? I'm a, two, I'm, a I'm a two guard, so it's always it's always Harden, you cook you? and it's always Clay. So you can't leave that motherfucker. You oh, cannot. Oh, if you, I can't cook. go for no steals, oh. nothing. He's going to cook you. <laughs> Devin Booker cooks me though. He be yeah. yeah Devin Books. Booker. Oh yeah, but you a guard, right? Yes. Yeah. He be working. Mm -hmm. What? Devin Booker be cooking me. Yeah. But uh, back to the topic yeah. at hand, um, you know, we can just jump right out and jump back in. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That was a little freestyle, but we get right back to the bars. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, so what I see here is you got John John, who is, when it's all said and done, going to be legendary. legendary. He's legendary now. If it ended now, he would be a legend. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a, he's a, a superstar. Top tier. A top PG. tier guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then you have Ace Amin, who really hasn't even been consistent. Mm -hmm. And we see the same thing. This is the same thing that happened with Jack Boyd Main. This is the same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Him and Jack Boyd Main had friction. Mm -hmm. Him and Jack Boyd Main ran into each other in Atlanta at a side. I forgot whose event it was. Uh, was it I was Wilkie? there. I was No, it was an event. Uh, it was an Atlanta battle rap event, you know what I'm saying, with uh, Chris Penny and them. Okay. They ran into each other and they spoke. And they let each other know it was about battle rap. You know what I'm right. saying? This is about battle rap, but I'm building the fight. Yeah. Jack Boy Man is, a, regardless of how it all went down or how it ended or how his career went or how it's going, he was a phenomenal promoter. And yeah. the one thing that he could do so before fun. he before he started like really getting like you know le left with it, mm -hmm. he was at least able to perform and he was different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So. It made a little bit of sense. It didn't make a lot of sense, him and John John, but it made enough sense. And then after Tech Nine's untimely passing, mm -hmm. he was supposed to battle Jack. But when the, the, when the, when that happened, Jack still needed an opponent. John stepped in. Yep. Black wealth chain. The rest is history. Right. So fast forward, mm -hmm. I see the same thing happening again. Somebody's talking reckless about John John on camera, and he just wasn't going for it. He was like, "Yo." I'm going to come see you. So now a lot of people think that he showed up at the event just to see him. No, you got people down there that's filming promo for no. So he was probably in the area to yeah. film promo yeah. and then he saw him and approached him mm. like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Yeah. And I look at it like this. As a man, you don't want nobody playing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, regardless of the fact, because he's clearly saying in this tape that he had in the blog that, uh, we could go around the corner and we could have a fate. I don't even think it should come. What what has happened that that, that that makes it that serious? Like how far is too far? Like what do you think? I don't I, I don't know because you also got every everybody's mental is not there. You know what I'm right. saying? Not a lot of people are level headed. We are dealing we are in battle rap where probably eighty percent mm -hmm. of them are right. in the streets and the twenty percent are either the people that ain't in the streets or they're leg or in legendary status where they don't have to be in the streets. Right. That's part of that twenty percent. Now eighty percent, I gotta eat no matter what. Mm -hmm. if, if I gotta, if I gotta battle you for the bread, that's fine. If I'm thinking about robbing you, that's another situation. It's, I mean, you got one of the battle rappers' name is Jack Boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that comes from street mentality. Right. But because it, it is right now, we're in that blended line of 
business and just a hobby. Thanks. And this is where your hobby or your your hobby, I don't want to get canceled for it, but I mean, basically giving off that gangster persona, like you can choose to get a regular job mm -hmm. or you might have had some situations happen and you can't get a regular job. So you have no other option but to be in the streets. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to be in the streets, you're going to stay in the streets. But if you're trying to elevate yourself, like most of these cats are, they're trying to elevate themselves in a business etiquette. Mm -hmm. They're trying to do things to set up a fight. Nobody was looking for, nobody was checking, I don't want to say nobody was checking for Ace, but after this loss, Ace kind of didn't have anybody else to bat. Mm -hmm. I get where he was trying to, you know, push the fight mm -hmm. with John John, but it's been a couple other, alter, it's been a couple other situations where John John don't be playing. Right. He's like, listen, if you call Smack. Call Smack, set that up. You know what right. I'm saying? But you addressing me like to fight me, like to to like like are we really about to do this? Like that that's extra. I don't think it's it. I really don't. And you know, it's like Ace I mean has more battles where he hasn't gotten through three rounds than battles that he has gotten through three rounds. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, although he does have some talent. You gotta perfect your craft first, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, what are we doing here? Why, like, Rookies vs. Vets is coming up, but do, would you wanna see him? I wouldn't wanna see that. I wouldn't wanna Until see Until you've that. proficiently shown that you can actually handle the task in hand, because even in the Fonz battle, and I watched it again today. Don't ask me how I watched, they got apps for that. <laughs> I watched it again today, that battle is ugly. It's an ugly battle. Like, it's, when it drops, it is not gonna be a good battle. Mm -hmm. Like, it will not be. The bumping, it's the extra. put, it's extra. just extra. Is it, and, is, and I don't mean to cut you off, but is it worse, just a side question though, is it worse than the big hand in Brooklyn hands? It's worse. Why? Because of all of the pushing and all the, and all the stumbling and no, They did that in Brooklyn hands and hands. But, but that was in the beginning. They still had a battle they after that. They had a battle after that, right? Yeah. And what did they do in that battle? What did Brooklyn hands and he big hand do? They still finished their yeah, rounds. They like finished they their didn't. Round. You know, yeah, a little pushing and all that. That was great. That was happened in the beginning. They was able to even cut that out and yeah. release it. Yeah. Still had a battle. Yeah. But this battle, had it just it was chokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was stumbles. Mm -hmm. a, and and thing is, I look at it like it was uncharacteristic of Fonzby, but I I can see why because he was rattled because somebody pushing him and trying to start a fight. Or no, Fonz, Fonz yeah. actually choking because of what had happened. Yeah. But, um. Let's just let's 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 rear back. Uh John John, you got a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? As far as you just had a new child, mm -hmm. you got business, now you got a blog cast, a podcast, um, you got, you know what I'm saying, a league, you got artists, and then you got yourself that's having top tier battles, mm -hmm. and I know that you are getting paid well. Like you're not getting paid ch chicken nuggets to, for these battles. Nope. And I just feel like you, 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 in some in some cases, defend yourself, mm -hmm. which is the way you're supposed to. But at the same time, sometimes like the best answer is no answer. You know what I'm saying? Like all the time, I, and I get it when you mm -hmm. when somebody's badgering you, calling you out, saying your name, saying punch me in the face when you see me and all that. That that that's kind of nasty. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I like what you said in your joint. Don't say my name no more. I won't say your name no more. And life could go on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, this don't even have to end in any kind of violence. Nope. Ace Amin could go on his way, do his thing. John John could go on his way, do his thing, and it could be what it is. But if it's going to continue, mm. it ain't going to end well. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Because when you got this person wanting to be macho, this person wanting to be tough. Listen, man, there's only two places for tough people, jail and cemeteries. Mm. So... Like, mm. you know what I mean? That's real mm. shit. Like, there's only two places that tough people go. You know what I'm saying? Both of y'all have been. And you don't even, and nowadays, you don't even have to be a hardcore nigga to shoot somebody. Nope. You just have to have a gun. Like, anybody can get a gun nowadays. You can get a gun for $300 nowadays. Anybody can get one. Yeah. And it don't even take no heart to pull a trigger. You know what I'm saying? But I think from <laughs> our perspective, I don't know all the intangibles and everything that happened, you know what I'm saying? But from what he was saying is that he asked him, is this battle rap? Is we battling? Right. And yeah, I think he's frustrated and everything that's going on. I, and I just it. think that they need to chill, man. You got anything else that you want to put on that? I just got one thing to mm. say. Just rap. Like, like I, I can't I can't stress that enough. Just. I, there's a reason why we do what we do. And it's mainly because of the what things that y'all do. Uh, with the things that y'all do. Mm -hmm. Y'all rap. We admire the bars. 
anything extra or outside of this is is just it's exactly. gossip. It's gossip. It's tabloids, and it's not helping. It's not helping the culture Damn. of battle rap. It's not. Help the to, the best way to push the culture forward is you can be as aggressive as you want to in the bars. Mm -hmm. You can be as hateful as you want to in those bars. Mm -hmm. As long as you spitting them bars clean and concise and it sounds lyrically smooth. That's all that matters. That's what we're here for. The bumping, the shoving, and the pushing in the battle. I'm cool with that because it's a it's a it, it can get like that. Mm -hmm. you know, most sports like is like that. Thanks. But once we start getting to a part where mm, I don't think those two should be in the Even same, same building, building no. or in the same state or in the same, it shouldn't be. Yeah, that's shouldn't that's be, where it, it gets to the it. point. You are what they call in insurance companies a liability. Yeah. And do you really want to be a liability? Because liabilities don't get paid. No. They cost the money. No, 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 no. And like you said, they got all this money involved. Woo! They got all this big streaming involved, all this big platform. Nobody needs nobody needs any any BS, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, everybody got family they want to make it back home to, and everybody got you know what I'm saying situations that they're not trying to lose. Thanks. So, you know, get it together and keep it together. You already know what it's doing, what it does, gang. It's like 15. All that whole shit you doing just reflect you. I see your hoe and she going, she reflect you. She walk around and knock me down just to kiss you. Don't let these hoes turn.